Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 16th of March up until the 22nd to see which games are coming out and we'll first look at some games that have released without being in one of these videos for whatever reason. If you want to save money on physicals, digitals or anything else, there's links to pretty much everything down in the description. Alright, what are the best looking upcoming games? Well, let's find out. So Contra Operation Galuga is finally out and Konami have sponsored this episode so thanks very much. This one's a reimagining of the timeless classic that features completely new sounds, visuals and you'll also find some familiar bosses redesigned for this new game. There are tons of different weapons including the classic and greatest spread shot homing missiles. You have two of these equipped and can switch between them and can then overload one of those weapons to do a special move. You can play through the story mode in co-op with Bill Riser and Lance Bean as well as some others that you'll unlock by playing through the game. There are several different difficulty modes and there's an upgrade system that works a bit like a skill tree whereby the in-game currency that you earn allows you to buy gameplay modifications, things like an extra life or that you start with the weapon of your choice. This one is already out, it came out on March the 12th but there is a physical edition coming on the 26th of April and you can see all the platforms Forms and the information on the screen now. There's also a demo so go check it out and if you want to show that you've supported us please do click all the links and let us know what you think. Let's first look at some games that are already out then and the first of those is Valiant Hearts Coming Home. So the first Valiant Hearts game came out a good few years ago now I believe wasn't it? I think it was, was it on mobile to begin with? Yeah I first played it back on iOS I think, it was a great game and then it came across to consoles and is this a sequel is it? Yes it says it continues the story with new and familiar characters. It looks as if you follow a number of different characters as you play through and it promises a mix of exploration, action and puzzles in terms of gameplay, very similar to the first game I think in, in terms of that. This one comes from Ubisoft and is already out as we said and it sells for £12.99 or your regional equivalent. Alright next we've got a game that everyone keeps banging on about, I have to admit I haven't played it but it's called Bellatro. Looks to be some kind of simulation strategy card game. Yeah, the blurb mentions it's a poker-inspired roguelike deck builder. And as you mentioned, we've had a good few comments about this on various videos saying for, for those people it's game of the year so far. Really uh, very high, uh, highly rated in terms of what people have been saying. I think there was a problem with it on the EU store mm. where it had to be removed. I can't remember why now. I think it was something to do with the rating. Right. Um, so it has, by the looks of it, gone back on because I am looking at it on the eShop as we speak. But yeah, uh, please, if you have played it, tell us a bit more about it. What is it that makes it so good? It's selling for £12.79, and again, it's already out. Next, we've got one that I purchased for my daughter. Um, it's another in the Survivors style, so you obviously have Vampire Survivors. Cat Survivors, uh, well, it does exactly the same thing, really, except it's full of cats, those little feline things that my daughter seems to love and just steal all of my money and food. <laughs> a bit like kids, actually, that. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Having more kids, but a smaller and furrier. <laughs> yeah, this one, so you have 20 minutes to survive against, obviously, waves of enemies. Uh, this one is £8.99 a standard, which is obviously a lot higher than mm -hmm. something like Vampire Survivors, but it does currently have a sale going on for a, approximately another month, which has dropped it down to 89p, or your regional equivalent. Uh, only one player, which is a shame, but yeah, the standard price is pretty high. That sale price, though, is, is not bad at all. Another one that's already out then is New Star GP. Yeah, this looks really interesting. I saw this over on uh, was it Switch Corner's channel. He has reviewed it. Yeah, yeah. It has uh, has that virtual racing style, doesn't it? It looks like almost like a modern arcade game. It looks lovely. Yeah, it's got that low poly style, as you say, that virtual racing used back in the day. Anything that uses that in terms mm. of a racing game, yeah, it just immediately uh, piques your interest because of the games that have used it in the past. And it does look like you can upgrade your car and choose various perks as you go along. And you need to have a pit strategy, which is nice to see in games such as these. It's selling for £24.99, which potentially is quite high. It depends, obviously, how well it runs. Do check out Switch Corner's review if you want the full story. We'll put a link to it in the top right-hand corner. And the final one for those already out there, we have Pentiment. Now, this is uh, kind of famous now, isn't it? Because it's one of the Microsoft games. They announced they're going to bring some games across the Switch. And then Pentiment is one of them. It was very highly uh, received back in the day, and it's actually from Obsidian who obviously made some of the greatest games of all time, like New Vegas. Yes, please, let's get a sequel to that. It's a puzzle adventure game. Um, I think it's set like almost in uh, over manuscripts, yeah. and then it plays out within those. It's based in 16th century Europe, 
And it looks to be an adventure game set within that era where you play as an artist. Again, dealing with lots of different situations from murders to scandals. And you have to choose different academic and social backgrounds, which will influence those interactions. That one's £14.99 or your regional equivalent. It came out on February the 22nd. Let's move on to the games coming out this week then. And the first of those is Skyrunner's Infinite Parkour. This sees you trying to become a parkour prodigy Define the tyrannical grip of the all-seeing panopticon. It sounds like a transformer. <laughs> I've got to be honest, this looks mm, interesting. I'm, I'm seeing a few screenshots here. That is basically that old taxi game you used to play where you move the car left and right <laughs> to avoid. I'm not entirely sure how, you know, it has some nice artwork here and there. But yeah, I've got a feeling this might be a little bit um, wonky. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the, the character is superimposed on the screen doesn't it you know like which obviously they are but they haven't done a good job of hiding that no anyway you can customize your style it says you can express yourself with a vast array of urban fashion and skills as you master the parkour moves to outsmart your pursuers excellent as long as it is an array and not an array we're okay it's definitely an array <laughs> definitely that one releases on the 17th as we say for 12 pounds 99 then we have a game called Power of Ten, which I must say, this one's really caught my eye. I do Is like it? the look of this one, yeah. So this looks to be possibly a roguelite in terms of uh, how it's written, where you go on runs mm. and uh, have to uh, obviously destroy the enemies in front of you. It looks potentially like you're scavenging for equipment and what have you as well. Obviously set in space. I just, I love that top-down view, you know, and uh, reminds me of asteroids, the way you can float across the screen. If this is done well, and if each run feels worthwhile, this may well be one I pick up. I do like the look of this. Yeah, it looks like there's some moments where you go down to planet surface as well, um, in some form of, of quest lines. I'm not sure how they'd work, whether they change per your run. But yeah, I do like that idea. It looks very cool. It says there are three unique regions and a final epic battle that awaits you, and you'll find out more about the universe on each run. I do again. I like that the way it, you know potentially unlocks. It's going to sell for nine pounds, and it releases on the twentieth. Next up, we've got the rhythm game Crimson, which is hurting my brain just to look at it. Wow, look at that. It's like psychedelic colours. You've got like rainbow coloured skulls. How on earth does this one work? Yeah, I mean, it's so as you said, it's a rhythm game, but it's done to electronic metal music. Right. I suppose, hence the visuals. It says you're an unknown spawn going through a hellish world and you obviously have to move rhythmically to the music. One wrong move, it says, means death, but the checkpoints are often, and death is very short, according to the blurb. I do, I mean, I like rhythm games anyway. Mm. Not necessarily a fan of this type of music, but I do love that visual style. I can imagine that going very well with, with the music they're, uh, they're using, you know? Now, I will say that the, um, the publisher is a good sign. It's the same publisher that did uh, My Time at Sandrock, um, Koa, some really good games on Switch. Mm. They don't usually pick up any old rubbish yeah, yeah so yeah that's actually quite a good sign and for 7.94 strange price mm. um, it might be a little pick up might not it yeah it could well be good it's releasing on the 21st the penultimate game for the week then is princess peach showtime i have to be honest this didn't really the idea of it didn't mm. tickle my fancy that much yep but i think the actual final product is going to be significantly better yeah than, than i and maybe a few others that felt the same way uh you know yeah, I mean, it's not one I've kept an eye on, I must say, mm. really. But I do like the premise of each stage or, you know, uh, having its own theme. Yeah. And obviously basing that, the, the idea of that or the reason for that being that you're on this stage. I do quite like that idea. I used to like, um, say, 3D platformers back in the day where every world was, was themed and, mm. you know, clearly very different. And obviously this would go along with that. It looks as if it potentially changes up the gameplay for each of those themes as well, which would be nice. And it does have a demo, which is available to play now if you yeah, want to give out? it a try. It must be recently. I don't think it was on there. It hasn't been on there for long. But yeah, so it's obviously Nintendo's uh, latest game, which means Nintendo standard prices, £49.99 or your original equivalent. And this one is out on the 22nd.
Then we've got NIS bringing us the Legend of Legacy HD Remaster. This is one I've got my eye on for sure. I didn't play the original, was it DS game? Uh, 3DS. 3DS. Yeah. Didn't play the original, but I can see already the amount of work that they've done to bring it up to, air quotes, a modern standard visually. It looks really nice, and I do love these. You know I've got a bit of a uh, penchant for Chemco RPGs. Yeah. This is giving me like Chemco vibes, I have to be honest. Yeah, there was a real plethora of RPGs on the 3DS. Some of which released physically in Europe and some didn't. I can't remember if this one did, I must be honest. Uh, but there were so many that you kind of lost track. Mm. And there were quite a few now you look back and think, oh, I wanted to try that, you know. So it's nice to see some of them getting releases on the Switch. And this one, it says it's a classic RPG combat, but with a twist where victory will rely on how you manage your formations. £44.99 for this one, if you are interested. Again, releasing on the 22nd. And that takes us to the end of this week. So there we have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Do any of these games interest you at all? Will you be picking any of them up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, make sure you, uh, if you're gonna buy any of these games or you wanna buy any physicals or you wanna buy some Joy-Cons, anything like that, then there are links to almost everything down in the description and savings. Yeah, for sure. A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming. <laughs>